Hi, my name is Earl Luce, and I'm the gas welding instructor for the EAA workshops. One of the things I want to show is how to make a fish mouth. A fish mouth is the curve that's taken out of a piece of tubing so that when you put it together for welding, you have a near perfect fit so your welding application is simpler. Now what I want to show you how to do is I've got a piece of tubing here. Most of your aircraft tubing is 035 and 028. I wouldn't recommend using this method and tubing over 049. It's hard on the uh, tin snips and it's hard on your wrist. So we're going to work with 035 right now. What I do is I take a sharpie and I draw a center line on the tube. The reason for doing this, I have to have a starting point and a stop point. After you get used to doing this, you don't need to put the Sharpie on there. I'm going to turn that around exactly 180 degrees, and I'm going to put another mark on here. That will give me my end point. Now what I'm going to attempt to do is cut this out so that this tube on top will meet this tube at a 90 degrees or a perpendicular joint. Okay. Now what we do is, I put my thumb usually in the center of the of the, the bottom of the curve that I'm going to be cutting out. I'm starting right at the point that I marked with my Sharpie and you're only using the very tip of the tin snips and the reason being is you don't want to bite it too much, you're working on a curved surface. So you just bite into that just a little bit and when you feel it cut then you just pick up on it like kind of a can opener. And you're using this method to, to cut until you finish up on the other side. Now when you get to the very end You'll see there's my center line again. That's my end point. I'm going to hold this away because that'll go flying. You don't hit yourself in the eye. Okay. Now you'll see that's the curved piece that I cut out of this side. Okay. And you can see where I started on that line and I ended on this line. So we repeat the process by starting on this line again. I hold my thumb in the center so I know where the center point is. And I start cutting away. Once it gets cut, and it cuts pretty easy, and again, hold it away, cut the other piece off. There's the two pieces that I cut off, okay? When I put this together, you're going to see that I'm off just a little bit. And when I say off, I'm talking about it's not a perfect 90, but it's really close. So I'm going to take this end that's a little high, and you can use tin snips again, or you can use a grinder, a file, whatever, because that doesn't take much. But be very careful when you're doing this that you don't twist your wrist like this because that will spring the jaws and then you can throw these in the basket. I'm using the green handled snips right now because I'm right handed. You may want to use the red ones if you're left handed. Now you'll see that there's a pretty good fit. For all practical purposes, that's as close as you need to be for welding. You can tack it on both sides. There's hardly any gap there whatsoever. And that's how you make a simple fish mouth using as snips.